If you're new to cruising, you should know that not everything is included in your cruise vacation. In addition to your cruise fare, there are other service charges for which you need to budget. This includes a daily per person cruise gratuity, as well as service charges added to purchases like drinks and spa treatments. If this sounds a little bit confusing, don't worry, we have you covered. Because in this video, we explain everything you need to know about cruise gratuities, and we break down these additional costs by each cruise line up next. Welcome aboard cruisers, I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise so you can see the world one port at a time. Now, the wife and I have been on over 65 cruises with 14 different cruise lines. And regardless of the cruise line you sail on, odds are you're gonna encounter service charges or what are typically referred to as cruise gratuities. So for those who are first time cruisers or perhaps are sailing with a different cruise line, we put together this complete guide to cruise gratuities for 2023. So let's start at the very beginning. Cruise gratuities are service charges that are not included in a standard cruise fare on most contemporary cruise lines. They're similar to a hotel resort fee. These additional fees are per person per day dollar amount that are charged to all guests across all state categories. And unfortunately, most contemporary cruise lines have actually increased or plan to increase these charges in 2023. Many cruise lines automatically charge these additional fees to your cruise portfolio. And depending on the cruise line, these charges are usually applicable to guests as young as two to three years of age and older. These charges serve as a means to reward the hardworking crew for the excellent service provided during your cruise vacation. These cruise gratuities are divided among stateroom attendants, dining room staff, and other behind the scenes crew members in a proportion determined by the cruise line. This method is meant to be more equitable across all staff. That way, staff that you don't regularly engage with or see still get a portion of the cruise gratuity. As I mentioned earlier, these service charges apply to all guests regardless of stateroom category. However, some stateroom categories actually have higher fees than others. These cruise gratuities apply to all guests regardless of your dining options. Cruisers who opt to only in the buffet or select anytime dining or choose more traditional dining will all pay the same amount based on their statement category. Typically, guests can pay for these gratuities in one of two ways. If you prefer to pay ahead of time, most cruise lines allow guests to prepay their gratuities at the time of booking or any time prior to the sailing, usually going into the cruise line's online cruise planner. These fees will then be added to the total cruise fare and covered with your final payment. One major benefit of prepaying your cruise gratuities is that you will pay the current rate. If prices should happen to increase before your sailing, you will not need to pay the extra for these increased costs. If you do not prepay the gratuities, you'll need to pay the current per day per person dollar amount at the time of sailing. These fees will be added to your stateroom account once on board the ship. Now, before we dive into specific cruise gratuities for the major cruise lines, one question we often get from individuals is, do you have to pay the cruise gratuities? And our answer is a resounding, yes. You should never try to opt out of the cruise gratuities. They are mandatory in like loosely defined terms. Most cruise lines automatically apply these charges. However, these charges can be modified, or if you're persistent, removed by guests while on the ship in the event that you did not receive satisfactory service. Keep in mind that gratuities will be deemed undisputed unless a request to modify it received prior to disembarking the ship. So when you get the bill at the final night of your cruise, you'd have to go down the guest services to have those charges removed. You won't be able to have those charges removed once you get home. Again, while you can go through the steps to have the cruise gratuities modified or removed, we never recommend cruises do that. The daily charge is a small and well-deserved token of appreciation to all the hardworking crew on board the ship. And while we often hear cruisers claim that they're going to tip the individuals they want to tip when trying to get this removed, honestly, there are so many people working behind the scenes that you don't get to see, or crew members that work in, say, the buffet or in other areas of the ship that are supporting the staff you get to see in the front lines who are also deserving of appreciation. In fact, many cruisers choose to tip above and beyond the service charge. But there are ways of getting out of paying for the gratuities on the cruise. And that's to keep your eye on your cruise planner and email for special promotions. Cruise lines will often run sales or travel agents will offer perks 
that may include free gratuities. So if you take advantage of that offer that includes free gratuities or onboard credit equivalent to the amount of the daily service charge, you're basically getting away without paying for cruise gratuities, but you're not shipping the staff. Another question cruisers ask us is if they should tip extra on a cruise. And of course, that's at your own discretion. Beyond the standard service charges put forth by the cruise line, my wife and I always tip above and beyond for excellent service. Generally speaking, we provide additional monetary compensation at the end of the cruise for our stateroom attendant and our dining room staff, and often provide an extra gratuity if we're dining at a specialty restaurant. Now keep in mind that the cruise line assigned gratuities do not include all staff members. These charges do not go towards individuals like bar servers, shore excursion guides, casino staff, porters, or youth staff. So you should consider providing tips to these crew members for great service. Again, at your own discretion, based on your interactions with these different individuals. We generally tip our favorite bartenders, staff at the onboard coffee shop, definitely tip tour guides for shore excursions. The exact charge for these cruise gratuities do vary by cruise line and by state category. While gratuities are part of the cruise fare on some luxury lines, cruisers should budget additional amounts for cruise gratuities for most major cruise lines. As of September 7th of 2022, the gratuities on Royal Caribbean ships start at $16 per person per day for guests in non-suite staterooms and are $18.50 per person per day for guests in suites. In addition, guests will pay an 18% gratuity on all beverages, mini bar items, and spa and salon purchases. This is on top of the cruise gratuity charges. Now keep in mind, if you pre-purchase or purchase a drink package, you pay that 18% service charge on beverages up front, so you're not charged again when you get a beverage on the ship. This policy is true for all cruise lines. As of January 1st of 2023, Norwegian Cruise Line has some of the highest gratuities of the major cruise lines. Guests staying in the NCL Haven or Suites pay $25 per person per day, while guests staying in all their staterooms but balcony suites and below pay $20 per person. If you booked your cruise before January 1st, 2023, you can prepay your gratuities before the sale date at a discounted rate. Currently, if you prepay those gratuities, cruisers staying in the Haven would pay only $20 per person per day. Cruisers staying in club balcony suites would pay only $18 per person per day. And all other stateroom categories would have a daily charge of $16 per person per day. Now these gratuities are in addition to a 20% gratuity for all spa and salon services. There's also a 20% service charge on all beverage purchases and all specialty restaurant dining and entertainment based dining. Further, cruises to Hawaii also have a service tax, which is currently 4.275%. Partway through 2023, Carnival Cruise Line will be increasing its daily gratuity. For departures prior to April 1st, Guests will need to pay $14.50 per person per day for standard state rooms and $16.50 per person per day for suites. On cruises after April 1st, the fee increases to $16 per person per day for standard rooms and $18 per person per day for suite state rooms. For beverages, there's an automatic 18% gratuity that's added to the bill in addition to the cruise gratuity. At the end of 2022, Celebrity Cruises also increased the price of its cruise gratuities. For cruisers staying in the Retreat, which is the exclusive suite area, cruisers will be paying $21 per person per day. For cruisers staying in Concierge Class or Aqua Class staterooms, the service charge is $18 per person per day. And for all other staterooms, including inside, ocean view, and veranda staterooms, the new cruise gratuity is $17.50 per person day. Although Celebrity Cruises does have a new pricing structure, the all-included cruise fare now incorporates some basic amenities to provide a more inclusive feel. Cruise Gratuities is one of those amenities. With the all-included pricing, guests receive tips, basic Wi-Fi, and the classic drink package as part of their cruise fare. A 20% gratuity will be automatically added to all beverages, mini bar purchases, spa, and salon services. Though guests will not pay gratuities for drinks that are part of the complimentary classic beverage package if they opt for the all-included pricing. Likewise, if they buy a beverage package and prepay that 20% gratuity, they will not be charged additional gratuities once on board the ship. On Princess Cruises, 
The crew's gratuity is referred to as the crew appreciation. And starting February 20th of 2023, the crew appreciation will cost more. Currently, the gratuity is $16.50 per guest for suites and $15.50 per guest for mini suites. With those staying in other statement categories, charge $14.50 per person per day. After February 20th, guest staying in suites will be charged $18 per person per day. Guest staying in mini suites in the reserve collection will be charged $17 per person per day. With all other staterooms, such as interior, ocean view, and balcony staterooms, being charged $16 per person per day. Similar to Celebrity Cruises, Princess Cruises offers more all-inclusive packages that do include the crew appreciation. If guests upgrade to the Princess Plus or Princess Premier packages, they will not pay any additional gratuities once on board the ship. Cruises paying the standard cruise fare will incur an 18% service charge that applies to all bar charges, dining room wine accounts, and the Lotus Spa services. Likewise, sister brand Holland America Line will be increasing its cruise gratuities this year. For departures before February 1st, as well as planned 2023 Grand World Voyage and the 2023 Grand South American Antarctica Voyage, the daily hotel service charge is $15.50 per guest per day for non-suite staterooms and $17 per guest per day for suites. After February 1st, this new Hotel service charge will be $16 per guest per day for non-suite staterooms and $17.50 per guest per day for suite guests. An 18% bar service charge is automatically added to bar charges and dining room wine purchases. MSC Cruises is one of the only cruise lines that actually charges different rates for cruise gratuities for adults versus children. For Bahamas and Caribbean sailings with MSC Cruises, Adults 12 years and over are charged $14.50 per person per day. For children 2 to 12 years old, the service charge is $7.50 per person per day. And for kids under 2, there's actually no service charge. Likewise, if you upgrade to the MSC Cruises Yacht Club, your cruise fare is inclusive of service charges. There is a 15% bar service charge applied to all purchases on MSC Cruises as well. But honestly, the gratuities for other destinations do vary. So if you're cruising to another destination with MSC Cruises, you want to visit the Cruise Line's website to determine how much those gratuities are for your particular itinerary and sailing. On Disney Cruise Line, the recommended cruise gratuity is $14.50 per person per guest, including infants and children. Guests staying in concierge staterooms and suites are recommended a gratuity amount of $15.50 per night. An 18% gratuity is automatically added to bar, beverage, wine, and deck service tabs. While considered a luxury brand, Viking is one of the few high-end cruise lines that does charge a daily guest gratuity. All guests will need to pay a hotel and dining charge of $17 per day per guest regardless of the stateroom category. Further, a 15% gratuity is automatically added to bar, beverage, wine, and deck service tabs. The same fee applies to Viking Expedition as well. However, Viking River service charges do vary by destination. So you'll need to check with the cruise line to see what the service charge is based on your itinerary and sailing. On the other hand, sailors looking to voyage with the adult only cruise line Virgin Voyages will be happy to know that gratuities are part of the cruise fare. On Virgin Voyages, there are no daily gratuities added to your shipboard account. Now, that's a great perk. Further, there are no additional service charges on other items like beverages or spa services. So the price you see listed is the price you pay. On the new Margaritaville at Sea cruise line, guests can expect to pay gratuities during their two night sail. These fees are $14.95 per person per night for interior and ocean view statement and $19.95 for suites. Guests are also charged up to $12 per person per day for a fuel charge which many cruise lines have in their fine print. But in the past two years, Margaritaville is the only ship we sailed on that actually imposed that $12 per person charge. Additionally, there's an 18% service charge added to all bar purchases. Guests sailing on Windstar Cruises should expect to pay gratuities as well. This hotel service charge is $16 per passenger per day and is automatically added to each guest onboard account. 
Of note, Windstar Cruises also has an option for an all-inclusive package. This package includes Wi-Fi, drinks, and you guessed it, cruise gratuities. Once on board, there is an 18% beverage service charge. Guest cruising with Oceana should also budget for additional service charges based on their stateroom category. For guests in standard staterooms, gratuities are $18 per guest per day. For guests in Penthouse, Oceana, Vista, or Owner Suites, where butler service is provided, those gratuities are $23 per person per day. In addition, there's a 20% service gratuity automatically added to all beverage purchases, spa services, and dinner at Le Reserve. Other luxury cruise lines like Silver Sea, Seaborn, and Regent all include gratuities as part of the cruise fare, except service charges on spa services. Now, if you need more cruise planning advice, don't worry, we have you covered. You should check out our top 15 cruise tips for first time cruisers. In that video, we cover everything from picking the right cruise line, to packing, booking shore excursions, how to save money, and more. We give you our expert tips to help ensure your first cruise is smooth sailing.